Everything's running. Everything's good. Everything's, Everything's up, boys. good. Well, in that case, welcome back to the Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. Dreamed all your I tell you out. what, I wish more people could sit in this chair because one of my favorite I things know. to do as soon as we get in here is look under the table and see what sock size. Oh, wearing. oh, no. <laughs> I got a good thing to say. Hey, they match. <laughs> they match. My, my redheaded woman went to Dallas last weekend to see the river dance people mm-hmm. and then she come in laughing and i said okay what happened and she said well i found these socks for you and huh. those are them? actually that's that's one pair of them she bought me about six pair of them you have river dancing socks uh, no but i got a uh, beaver socks beaver do they make you want to dance huh no they make me want to chew wood down and build a dam uh socks do that i don't have actually got a beaver on it you, you do it's really. Not a unique little animal. Oh boy! No. Hey, I'm buckle serious. up! Hey, he's destroyed more timber. Than he's a noise lumber, maker. Lumber, slapping, lumber guy slapping that tail. Hey, but has y'all he just, know that? I, here's my question for yeah. beavers. Yeah, because we hate them for the yeah. most part. Oh, Phil, Phil, hey, he's been fighting them. But we're six trying years. to do what they're trying to do. They just don't know that we're after the same yeah, goal. We want the, the same thing. We want yeah. the same thing water. they want. Oh, water. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go and if it's moving, they're going to stop it. Yeah. However, did you just said they've destroyed more timber than the timber company. Yeah. Because, but hey, but yeah. did they destroy timber or did they create habitat? They did both. They did both because water, if it's left on too long, it'll kill timber. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, but here, one of the coolest videos I ever saw. Okay. Okay, the first scene, okay, is a guy has got a long-range camera. You know, one of them that's got a lens, you know, like About that. About eight foot long. And, and you see something way down in the woods moving, and you can't identify it. And there's a little trickle of water about, oh, eight inches wide and maybe an inch or two deep going down through the woods. Well, it finally comes into focus, and it's two beavers. And they're walking in, in the little bitty water. Well, it shows them start. And this film is an hour long. At the end of it, it's showing about 50 beavers. Okay, and it looks like a construction site with dump trucks, front end loaders, and everything like that. Because hmm. here they come. One of them's got a big tree in his mouth, you know, swimming, barely can to keep it above water. And he comes up to where they've started and jams it in, just, you know, keeps pushing it in the mud. So that's your skitter. You know, that, he, yeah, he's bringing the wood in. <laughs> then here comes, hey, then here comes the dirt men, the dump truck. Here comes 10 with. Or just a big wad of dirt on that tail. And all they do is they just come by it and turn and pow. You know, and here comes another one bringing a stick in and sticking it in, another beer, pow. Look, at the end of this, okay, there is a probably a mile and a half down, like 10 foot tall. <laughs> and okay, it ain't no telling how wide. And then that's the greatest big beautiful lake behind it and you own the timbers the cypress trees the ducks coming in geese coming in deer coming down to drink big bucks you know so that you talking about some habitat yeah they have created some unique habitat they get a bad rap because most of the time they're yeah, interfering they're talking about with, how destructive well they're talking they're interfering with what we want to do yeah that's yeah. why they get such a yeah. bad rap but if they were left alone they they create some pretty cool ponds and yeah, but they you know. do destroy because hey, in Alabama in the twenties, they called it the big great Alabama battle. Okay, and it wasn't humans. Okay, it was humans against beavers. They was trying to build a mall. Okay, and every weekend when they'd knock off, they'd come back and everything would be flooded. <laughs> so so. so Hey, they finally had to hire trappers, okay, come in to trap them and get them all out. Well, you just said they went from two to 50 in a year. I oh, know. No. That was hey. pretty quick. But they uh, are hey. a rodent, so it fits, you know, like hey. people talk about rats and, you know, all but they, hey, but colloquial they are, terms. They're engineers. Oh, they're incredible. Yeah, they're okay, engineers. because, hey, they're going to put the dam 
at the possible lowest point on on the property. Yeah, didn't even need GPS. And I, and I, and I don't even need the transit. What to shoot it with? Yeah, yeah. They don't need it. It's in. It's built into their head. They know. Yep, this is the lowest point. Let's put it here, boys. And that all started at an amoeba coming out of the ocean. You believe uh, that? No, that no. dog won't hunt. <laughs> nah. No, that dog won't hunt. That's creation uh, at its finest. Okay. Yeah. I just like getting so, fired hey, up. Hey, no, it. no, because look, that's why I said he's a unique little animal. He is. Okay. And here's here's the thing. They build it so it actually leaks enough. Okay, that it the water stays at the same level. So their outflow yeah. equals their inflow. Yeah. 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 Well, how about that? They got a yeah. spillway. Oh, no. Yeah. I, yeah. I've watched it. Yeah. Phil, Phil's fought them like for 50 years. And here's the most amazing part. I went with him one day. Okay. And this is at daylight because before it gets hot. We go out there and Phil takes about, oh, hour and a half, two hours. Okay. And he digs like six foot down with a, a rake I welded together for him, four prong, put in mud, limbs. He makes yep. a six foot hole and about eight foot wide break in the dam. Yeah, I, I mean, it, this was two hours work. Six Hard foot, work. Yeah, six foot deep, eight foot wide. Running cotton mouse everywhere. Yeah, running cotton mouse, killing one of them if you got a gun, because you know, I always take a gun. <laughs> but anyway, because Phil has always said the beavers and cotton mouse are, are in cahoots, okay? The beavers build it, the cotton mouse guard it. <laughs> that's what it seemed like. No, that's what it seemed like because every time you go on a beaver dam, you're going to walk, you're going to see rake, I've seen him rake them out Look, around his ankle. We went back the next morning, and I'm standing there just in awe because it looks like he's never touched it. Yeah, right back. It's back. And then do it again. Yeah, so we do it again. And look, he he's done that. I, he's literally, you know. His rake has gotten bigger now, though. Oh, yeah. Now his rake is yeah. on a hydraulic arm. Yeah, yeah it's in and you got drive a, it up. Got there, a too. motor on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's got a motor on it. You drive it up a track hole and just go yeah, and knock yeah. it out. You know, but he done it for 50 years, you know, by hand. Good grief. He's literally moved tons of br brush. Mud and leaves, and they'd build it back over overnight. And I said, "How many think there's done this? Y'all bunch?" He said, "No, nah, probably two. They's trying to get to." I said, "What? Two beavers did this? You got to be kidding me!" Phil got some mad at him. He made socks out of him. Hey, I'm telling you, put him in his waders. But hey, they that's that's the only <laughs> what uh, uh, waterproof creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beaver's pelt oh, wow. is waterproof. I'm just, water rolls I've just been it. studying this whole time. On Maybe. the beaver? On the, did you know there's a beaver dam in Canada you can see from space? Really? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. They showed a picture of it? Yeah, look. It's uh, that whole thing. Wow. And there ain't no telling how wide that is. 775 uh, meters in length. Uh, can you I'm, I'm American, so I, yeah. I would have to plug in. Wow. Yeah. Can you can imagine how deep them runs are around there if you were to stumble oh, no, no. into there? They'd go, go over your head, my head anyway. <laughs> yeah. Good grief. That's yeah, it's big. in Canada. That's amazing. The world's largest beaver dam. Good grief. It's the twice beaver. the width of the Hoover Dam. That's tight. Uh, hey, that's... That's wild, cause Hoover Dam is giant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, think nice. about that. Just a little furry animals doing this. Yeah. Weighs about weighs about anywhere between forty and seventy five pounds. That's like two miles long. That's big. Two miles long. Hey, that's they've been working on that for a while. More than a year. And hey, they just keep working on it, too. Put oh, that's in. half a mile. Oh, hey, if, if <laughs> they the meters are look, tricky. If, hey, they'd be like the saber-toothed tiger. I went the opposite. Didn't draw stuff on down. Saber-toothed tiger? Yeah. Not, what do they do? A beaver would be just like the saber-toothed tiger if they wasn't always chewing, chewing trees down. Now, he's right there. Their teeth yeah. always grow? They're, they're their always incisors. growing. Yeah, their incisors grow. Yeah. That's why sometimes uh, they just gnaw. Are we sure yeah. about the saber-toothed tiger on that part of the equation? Though? I don't know, because those seem to be in the spot of the canine, so I'm not really sure. But hey, Look, hey, well, there's a lot of things that got them big tusks and big what, uh, 
What's the name of it? Walrus. Elephant? No. Walrus. Walrus. Yeah. Walrus. The walrus. The walrus. Yeah. Cuckoo ca Hey, hey, yeah. them things like, like that. <laughs> Ain't so much the walrus. No I like man. a narwhal. A what? A narwhal. What What's is narwhal? that? You don't know what a narwhal is? I do, but. It's like it's the unicorn of the ocean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait yeah. a minute. No oh, gobble. You have to pull up a picture on that. It looks like a walrus, but it's just got one. No, it's like a whale with a horn on yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. This is a fish? Yeah, it was oh. something like that. Oh, it's a mammal. Oh, it's, it's a, a mammal. Oh, it's like the, uh, what, is, what is we got in our creeks and bowels, the big the big thing. We ain't got nothing like that. Oh, yeah, broke. we do. We got one but except the horn. What's them, manatees? Manatees. It's like a manatee with a horn on it. Yeah, it's that's got a, a horn good, on It's like a manatee prepared for battle. Yeah, that's like it. A fighting manatee. I wonder if they sword fight each other. I oh, yeah, right. there's one right there. Huh. We need to learn more about yeah. that. Hey, a unicorn, he got a a unicorn fish. What's the about horn for? Stabbing folk? Stabbing things. Don't go in the water with Maybe him. Maybe that's how he catches fish. Maybe he can't see, and that's kind of his feeler. Yeah. Well, hey, that could be. It'd be a sensitive. And maybe it's for Now I'm going to read all about sensitive. narwhals. A sensitive. Well, good. Why you read about narwhals? Oh, I know what it break. was. Oh. He just had it, and it was in ice. It's a bus hole in ice. Oh, okay. There you go. Huh. Seems as logical yeah. as anything. That, yeah, People don't know. Fine. They, it's they don't know why they have one. He's a ice hmm. buster. That's a quick read. So, okay, we're going to go. Let's take a break. We're going to go. <laughs> we're to taking a we're break already. Oh, time flies like an air. Look, it's summertime, so it means your briquettes are glowing, your hot dogs roasting, your buns are toasting. <laughs> and no, I'm not talking about the cookout, ladies That's and right. gentlemen. I am talking about <laughs> oh, your undercarriage. No. Right. <laughs> and you know how we going to keep that undercarriage cool? Tommy. It ain't but one way, baby. That's Tommy John's. I guarantee hey, you it's Tommy, Tommy John. Uh, yeah. Look. I ain't roasted down there since Tommy John came on board with this podcast. And look, <laughs> this big guy, I used to roast down there often. Look, it's a I, thing. I low key, I was, you know, I, I, there's been desitin in our house before the boys were here. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> hey, hey, but since go. Tommy John came along, we ain't got to use that no more. Mm -hmm. I, or, I, let me rephrase that. I don't have to use it that. It don't even feel like you got nothing on. There you go. Not, Look, because like when you're not aware of that, they're awesome. That's when you wear Tommy John, you're you're just that comfortable, right? Yeah. I mean, there ain't nothing there, so you can do everything better. I hung a swing yesterday, didn't even know they was there. I had to reach down, confirm. Look, everything is better. Look, I'm just telling you right now. And look, I got a big day coming on June 23rd. Tommy John's going to play a big role in that, let me tell you. Your birthday? You yeah, the end of birthdays provided by me. That's what's coming. So yeah. Tommy John going to have to get in on that bag. Look. Tommy John underwear has dozens of comfort innovations like breathable, lightweight, moisture-wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands with over 20 million pairs sold and thousands of five-star reviews. Guys across America love their Tommy Johns because there's no more flopping, sticking, or chafing. Praise God. That Look, is correct. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. What they got, Si? Hey, they got fanatics. And one of the fanatics even raves it's the most comfortable boxer briefs ever. There's no downside. Buy one pair and you'll never want to wear any other underwear again. We concur. We do not that disagree with correct. that assessment. That's right. Plus, you can bet your boys you will always be covered by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free guarantee. That's good. And it's the summer season. It, it, it gets funky down there this time of year. Oh, so, yeah. Hey, just especially down here in see. the South. Just try it and see. I, they, yeah, I guarantee you. No risk. Hey, I'm looking at their website right now. They got the best ones for summer. Want to know why? Why? Summertime means the 4th of July, and they got American flag Tommy John's. Boom. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Hey, there you go. Real I'd look good too, in that. Baby. America. America. Look, we love them. So will you. Keep cool and comfortable this 4th of July with Tommy John. Get 25% off site-wide at TommyJohn.com slash duck. That's 25% off at TommyJohn.com slash duck. See site for right. details. For details. Goblin, what do you call a horse that lives down the street? Oh, don't tell me. Uh, Wait a minute. What do you call a horse that lives down, down the, the street? street? Yeah. Go ahead. A neighbor. <laughs> Neighbor. A neighbor. A neighbor. neighbor. <laughs> ah, I got uh, it. There you go. Good work, Did you pass calculus? Hey. I did. I figured that. Well, you can depreciate between your twins then, can't you? Somewhat. Yeah. What? Generally, just by smells alone. But What's that got to do with alone? calculus? I don't know. A squared plus B squared equals C squared? I don't know. I thought that was 
That's Something. geometry. Yeah. Huh? Hey, t- t- That's the Pythagorean theorem. Bad. I don't think I could go back to school. Yeah, I, I've decided that. I don't want to. I, I, I didn't like when I was there. You didn't like school? No. He wasn't necessarily what you would call it. School was just an interruption. Studious interruption. Yeah, the teacher was always waking me up saying, what are you doing? I said, well, I was slipping up on a big 12-point buck. The problem is You people, scared him off. The problem is you hear people say that, and they get all of a sudden people think they're dumb just because they don't like school. No, Mike Rowe has proven that wrong. Cy pretty sharp. Who's Mike Rowe? Yeah, Mike Rowe. Dirty job. Oh, that's man. the dirty job guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know who what? you. I just only know only his name. dirty guy I know. Dirty is Joe Dirt. No, this dude yeah. does dirty jobs. Also oh, sharp. Oh, not than dirty jobs. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. You never watch Dirty Jobs huh. with no. Micro? No. He goes around and just finds people that do like really dirty jobs. Like, well, hey, he'd he'd have found me if he'd have looked one time. What were you doing? Uh, roofing uh, industrial buildings. That's not dirty job. Oh, it is a dirty it's just job. Just a hot job. That's a hot and it's bro. dirty too. That's what they did on Shawshank, right? With the mops and the tar. That's, oh, no, that's yeah. how y'all used to roof and dust. Yeah, and I had to finally they switch jobs on me. I had. Were to you in the, jail? The tar, the tar pit. Did you ever get to sit in the shade with an ice cold bucket of beer? No, I didn't. Because Andy got you. No, I'm on. No, if they brought a bucket of beer, that'd been a good job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cold you beer. Need, hey. You just needed. Back in them days. Yeah, back in them days, like, that would have been the job. Yeah. Oh my goodness! The latest episode of Dirty Jobs is Beaver Relocator, really? and I did not plan that. Really? Is that wild or is that? Hey, Beaver Relocation Slime Master. That's crazy. That's the title. Slime. How do you master? relocate a beaver? Every trap I've hey, I've never no, I've, a beaver is not a slime. That's a different job. <laughs> There's two jobs on the episode. Oh. One is a beaver relocator. Oh, and then the other one is slime master. That sounds like a dirty job. Oh, okay. Yeah, if yeah, you've if, ever yeah. messed around with trapping beavers, that's a pretty dirty one, too. Cause that scent, well, it's muddy. That scent that they use, though, yeah. to, to trap them, yeah. that beaver musk oh, yeah. that they make women's perfume out of, Yeah, that's it, what's it, don't smel- it don't smell like that <laughs> that's from the why. source. <laughs> Do you know that they, uh, uh, it's skunk extract is what they made. Beaver perfume? perfume out of yeah beaver no. beaver must I, I, check it I, Google it please son. don't hit me uh, I'm looking Google it I'm, I'm, hey I'm looking hey uh, they use that beaver must that's what I was told that now, scent, what I was told that in New York I think that beaver scent is castor or something like that yeah that's what it's called Scott, from the castor side I'm hunted down yeah. there in the castor. <laughs> castor they actually swamp. take yeah. extract from a uh, skunk scent. And then turn it into women's perfume. My sister used to catch them skunk, and she'd pull that tail back and get some pliers and pull that thing out where they couldn't spray. Well, if you hold it down, they can't spray. If you hold their tail down. No, she... 100%. I can get you a bottle on Etsy right now. Skunk (laughs) perfume, $30. Hey. Hey. See, you thought I was pulling I, your leg. Yeah, but that it's on hey, Etsy, so well, that hey, sounds like somebody from sound, West Virginia is doing selling right. something out of okay. their garage. Oh, but hey, that's, that's where perfume, women's perfume, comes from. John oh. D, I think they make different stuff in their garages up there. That's yeah, true. <laughs> I don't know about Do that. Do they hey, make perfume? But hey, that's one job I will not. No, I, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to hold a skunk tail down, He's and right. I'm not going to try to extract his uh. His anal gland? Skin, yeah. yeah. His sprayer gland. Yeah. His what? Yeah, that's you what just got to take. That's what she done. Boy, we... I ain't done it. My nephew. You're right. They do that. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's made out of beaver musk, skunk musk. Yeah. Like, that, <laughs> I can buy you... You got to think about that. Well, that's not very attractive. Things that are foul. That are foul, they take it and turn it into perfume. Mm-hmm. Reverse the process. It's got to be... Something else. They just call it that. <laughs> I can buy you one ounce of Foggy Mountain Pure Skunk Essence for twenty five dollars right now. No, that's, thank you. That's hey, you get that from Tennessee. I've been too. sprayed by him. I don't want to buy hey, none. I remember that you did get sprayed. He got dope. Off. That was the second time. I'm just glad he was wide enough to be the shield. Yeah, you were there too. All I got was the smell. Yeah, Phil. Phil done that when he was running the trap line. Oh, he stomped it today. Oh yeah. Time. Yeah, bad move. Yeah, yeah. You don't ever want to. One of them did fire the chair up. You don't want to stop it. Yeah, don't even go up there yeah. from here to that door and shoot one. Oh no, no. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to get close. This is a long range deal here, boys. Look, right. I saw one one time skunk experience walking to the deer stand or walking out from deer stand. It just gotten dark, but you can still kind of halfway see, you know, mm-hmm. walking down that road. I'm like, what is that in the road? Of course, I'm just getting closer to it. Yeah. Moving back and forth, and I can't really tell what it is. And I get from about me to Johnny D from it. And me and it realized what it was at about the same time. And it yeah, put that it. tail up. Yeah. Buddy, I ain't ever retreated so fast in all my day. <laughs> I, was, I was long stepping backwards with my, my bow in my hand. Like, well, well, no, this Phil, gonna Phil be bad knocked here. me. I was falling, and he grabbed me as we're both running. And just toted you? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. And this one was rabid, okay, because he was coming. He wasn't worried about spraying. Oh, he going to get you. He was fixing the bite. The reviews oh, so he on was, this he was why, bad news. Why, uh, why does acid? something rabid want to bite you? Because he wants to share. Share and hey, share. I guess he and wants to share. What He's in pain. He wants to share. It. Bit by a rabid something. Then you go we were going squirrel hunting. Rabies. Before daylight, yeah. walking towards the woods, and huh. Phil knocked me back, and just, I was fixed to go down and probably just got an 8-8 eight, eight up. <laughs> he just kind of caught the side of my arm, and hey, away we went. Oh, couldn't you see that story, Cy and the rabid coon? That'd be like story number 114 or something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was rough. I'm telling you. I'm I'm reading the reviews for just pure skunk essence, and people are saying it's just absolutely awful, and therefore well, they- yeah. Oh, it is. So now they're giving it five stars because that's what they wanted, which is weird enough in itself. But But somebody reviewed it and gave it one star and said, I bought this to keep my neighbor and his dog out of my yard. Why would, that's what I'm that's talking That's making about. your yard stink, sir. Yeah. Well, hey, it seems yep. like a lose lose. So, did it not work? Right. He, he said it, 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 this is like, like LaCroix made skunk water. Well, hey, he must be like Phil. He, his, you know, he don't mind bad boulder smell. Well, yeah, because he's rubbing it on over all his own stuff and then thinking it's going to keep other people away. Well, if it keeps them, the dog away, if he don't want a dog in his yard, hey, go for it. But he, he specifically said a human being. Oh. He said his neighbor well, and. Why would you want to buy that? <laughs> I told, hey, I know they will buy anything because you're a stinker. I think, yeah, you will if you buy. <laughs> that's right. Hey, I think I'm gonna put a brown bag on there and see if that's somebody will buy. This stuff reeks, Godwin. Yeah, excuse I me. I like it. I want I want Godwin to ask Siri where he can buy skunk essence. That would be interesting, and just see what happens. That's right, and see what they come up with. I bet probably it's, don't. She'll say, "I'm working on it." <laughs> do you use Siri a lot? Do you, do you day, use Siri? It'll other, take her less than a minute to yeah, tell you where my, you can get it. My phone. I just said, "Call Paula Godwin," and she said, "I don't know who that is." As a matter of fact, I don't know who you are. <laughs> if you'll do something with your contacts, that would help me out. What's that got to do with your eyes? That's what she said. My eyes. Your contacts. Yeah, I know it. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. Well, I don't think hey, she could ain't, figure it out. Hey, that was like that it point. was a question she did not know. I tried to use a cell phone, and when I hit it, turned it on, it cussed me out. Cussed him out. Story 92. Siri mad that day. Well, I don't Siri have, was in a bad mood. Her attitude needs to be changed. I think somebody I in her. didn't want to fool day, with nobody. And she said, some things are just not knowing. <laughs> what you said. I turned it off. I don't even want to accidentally like let her talk right, to me. Good grief! Because well, I can't under she can't understand me. I, can't I use her all her. the time. Do you? Yeah, to set alarms and timers and stuff. And that like works. That. Mm-hmm. Watch it. It ain't hard. Look, I you got a regular voice. Then, a lot man. of times she says, "I'm working on it." Oh, he fixed it. Siri, I'm also set a like, timer for five minutes. Boom! Five minute timer. Five minute timer. I do. Yeah. It, I use it a lot with cooking. Like, I mean, I, I, I use Alexa for that. She's oh. beside the stove. So who's better, Alexa or Siri? I think Alexa's more attractive. Really? I mean, I've never met a Siri, but... You've met an Alexa? I've or an Alexis? A, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa. That got weird. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. So you'd rather have an Amazon than an Apple? Well, oh, for sure. Oh, I like Joe Hannah's phone talks like a British man. You have it. You, you can change, change it. Yeah. That's, that's she got she, tired of talking to a woman. She wants to talk so. to a fella. Yeah, so it is. English from the United Kingdom, English from South Africa, English from Singapore. 
Wait, I do what? Singapore? Is there a difference? Oh, heck yeah. I just turned my Siri into, well, I turned it on. Now she's Irish. Well, fantastic. Let's turn <laughs> on the next break. We'll be back right after this. All right. Then I got a question. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Another love goes cold. Hold a sleep. You know what Garth Brooks was singing about? Being a, not having a helix. That's it. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> it and all they certainly long. didn't have a helix elite. Because look, yeah. you just thought they made the best mattress with the quiz before. Now you got the elite. I helix. just found that out because I was telling somebody about my mattress. I said, look, you take. A, I was showing the quiz. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Because I ain't got no elite. I might have to upgrade. Y'all listening, to helix? I might. Have <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds nice. Yeah. One final, elite. I'll, one final. I'll take call, the same call, order. Yeah. I ain't changed. Yeah. Just make it elite. Make it elite. That's all we're looking for. Look, Helix has 20 unique mattresses, including the award-winning Lux Collection, a mattress for big and tall sleepers. That, that'd be us. That'd be you. Mm -hmm. Look, and even a mattress made just for kids. That's important. Look, and the coolest thing now, you thought the Helix was the best. Now they have the Elite model, which has a built-in cooling cover and thousands of supportive coils, dual cushioning layers, and even lumbar support to enhance your already fantastic sleep experience. And the cool thing is it ships straight to your door. It's that simple. You don't ever have to go to a mattress store again. Look, and you get 100 nights in-home trial on it. So you can take it for a test drive. You do whatever you want to. You ain't going to send it back. You ain't. You ain't. Because no. I was about to say, I might nope. send back my Platinum and get an Elite, but I just realized, oh, no, I got a Lux. Yeah. And to get an Elite, but I can't. I, I've had that thing for more than 100 days, but you know what? Wouldn't send it back if they paid me. Keeping to. it. There you go. Look, everybody's unique. Everyone sleeps differently. That's why Helix has several different mattress models to choose from. Helix has models with memory foam layers, models with more responsive foam to cradle your body and enhance cooling features to keep you from overheating at night. And if your spine needs an extra TLC, they got you. Look. I think all our spines need a little extra TLC. So that's a good thing. Like you just said, you took the quiz, got the Lux. That's perfect. The moonlight Lux. And you just sleeping like up in the middle of a cloud. I mean, you you so soft that it might as well not even be there. So, Amen. Look, not the... <clears throat> Not only is the mattress best we've ever slept on, but setup was fast and easy. Easy Helix mattresses are delivered in a box straight to your door for free. If you don't want to take our word for it, they have been awarded the number one mattress pick by Wired Magazine, and it's even recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine. Plus, Helix mattresses are American-made and come with a 10- or 15-year warranty depending on the model that you choose. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash duck. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long with helix better sleep starts now go to helixsleep.com slash duck hi i'm siri hi i'm siri hi um hi i'm hi i'm siri all right some of you lying i'm siri choose the voice you'd like me to use there's no hi, way that there siri could... choose the voice you'd like me to use oh. that ain't irish oh. no i don't know how this works are those samples of the voices? I don't. I thought it was. Oh. I, I couldn't tell the difference, really. Other got a question. What's that? What? Do you know of any special train tours? Train, train, tours. a train. I you know, know, there's one in Canada. Choose the voice you'd like. Yeah, like the Polar Express. There's one in Denver. I mean, not Denver, but uh, Durango goes up to Silverton. Durango, what? Colorado. What are you Colorado. trying to go on a train tour for? He wants well, to ride a train. No, I just, that's what I watched on PBS. They have got. Well, they didn't tell you where it was? Yeah, they, no, no, they've got them all over the world. Yeah. Okay, the, the, the most beautiful one was, is in West Virginia. West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah. The, it runs through. Out of all the places in the world? Center, no, no. Well, to me, it was beautiful. Because <laughs> hey. it runs along, okay, and I think it's the Shenandoah River. River? River? Shenandoah. The river. Yeah. Okay. Through the Shenandoah Valley. Okay. But it was, it's dropped. Blue Ridge gorgeous. Mountains. And it goes, and it goes real slow, and it even gets at a special place and stops for you. Enjoy the view and everything. Take and me home. Yep. I'd say then the country roads. Take They've me got country the Mus road. Uh, Branson, Missouri tour. Uh, okay. Okay. You 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 have really narrowed this down to like our part of the world. Well, no, no, and then and more specifically, then you go south. Okay, <laughs> you go south for the for the uh, 
desert and the uh, south look, okay? In San Antonio, they you got You know, the one. old south look. Yeah, they yeah. have one on the Silver Street? No, they, but they do have one that uh, is painted like a dragon, fire-breathing dragon. Okay, but did they like Where's bring it up? At? I don't remember where that run. May have run through the southwest, southwest. Did they bring up like Switzerland? No. Nope. That's, that's the one I want to go to. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, they got I didn't a cool say nothing about Switzerland. But I didn't watch it all. Okay. Got good cheese. I took that train one time up to the Matterhorn. No, you didn't. Because I wasn't walking. Yeah, I was like 19. Did you? Mm hmm. Wait. No offense to West Virginia. I'm sure it's nice up there, but. <laughs> you go up Where's to the, the top? Matterhorn at? Switzerland. Switzerland. No. You go to the top. You been to the Matterhorn in Switzerland? Mm hmm. Well, I mean, I looked at you, it from the bottom. Man. I didn't. Did you hear anybody yodeling up there? Oh, yeah. No. I'm just lay. That was like a so long uh, time ago. What is the, what is the, uh, but I really thought I had a chance when you were like, the most beautiful train in the whole wide world. I was like, ooh, say the only one I've been on. Say the only, and you're like, oh, West Virginia. And then you, well, say, hey, you was, literally say Country Road, take me home. It was a beautiful scenery shot. That's right. west of Virginia. Right. That's true. But I didn't know that they had that many, okay, like, tours that you can take on on you know locomotives oh, yeah. are you about to become like in your you know you gonna go your retired home? life are you about to become like a train aficionado well no no but hey i'm gonna say them, it i would have liked when i was going there it is there that'd there be it pretty is. cool i have no doubt that that's beautiful especially hey, there's when the leaves eight, are changing there's eight oh, no. of them oh no and that the bridge is is famous because hey look it happened out you know, back in the 20s i think a big storm came Huge rain. It actually blew it out. Siri got us. Siri got you us. set my timer. Yeah. It <laughs> It actually oh, blew the bridge down. The mics and stuff. That's but, hilarious. But West Virginia <laughs> built it back, the, the, you know, because of the beauty of the, of the place. Yeah. That bridge was actually destroyed by a flood. Hey, that's the Silver Streak. Oh, yes, they call him the Streak. Boogity, boogity. Yeah, that's right. He's running through the pole bead, boys. Oh, uh, look, I don't know. Too late. You got a free shot. <laughs> Take me home. Oh, hey, there's no that doubt. That is beautiful looking scenery. It's oh, a nice absolutely. place. I just yeah. would think that you would choose somewhere where you couldn't, like, drive to it. Like, you know, well, it they say the only more, way you get through there. Like is, Switzerland okay, or. Is boat, walk, or train. That's it. Huh. Ain't yeah. no car. You either go by boat. You either walk in or you ride the train. Could you technically big, take a truck down the train tracks? I wonder yeah. if Big Jim no, had to hire out of tires about halfway. Yeah, yeah, we used to. You, do ain't, that. Even got a, you ain't even got to hold on to the steering wheel. Yeah, we, we do that in high school. What were you saying, Martin? I said, I just wonder if Big Jim owns part of that. The governor. God, the, Jim Justice, guy that paid for us to come to that golf tournament all them time. Big Justice, boys. I don't know. He owns the, uh, the Green Briar and all that stuff up there. He owns a couple of things if he owns that. Yeah. yeah the he cool owns. thing about this is, okay, is is on them trains, they're real, real low. And they had to redo them and rebuild them, you know, mm -hmm. put them back in. And, you know, and some of them, some of them, one should, of them had a barber shop. We should do a duck call room from the West Virginia train. I, oh, mean, I would I mean, love, hey. That's what I'm talking about. I'm is actually that in the budget? thinking about, look, I, I'm actually thinking about going and taking the tour through West Virginia. On shall, shall well, there time. you have it. We'll get, Are you going to listen to Country Road Take Me Home the whole time? That seems like a little I don't know, on, but right? they did have a band on it, too. There was a band on the train? Oh, on the train. You yeah, playing music. to go on that because you would Banjo, totally take Banjo, fiddle. It. Yeah. Banjo. It fiddle. was actually be and, and Did they show got, any of the food? And they, I, and, yep, that's, I was just going to get that. Okay. And they got two big dining cars, okay, for you to enjoy a meal. Sugar I wonder free? How, I wonder how big the rooms are. Medium plus steaks? They're probably small since it's a train. The dining room was excellent. Okay. And it's, you know, then they got the, like the double decker that you sit up high where you see everything. Yeah. And it's yep. got like windows over the top and side. Yeah. You know, where you see everywhere. I took the train from New Orleans but to Jackson exactly one cool. time. You took a train from where? New Orleans to Jackson, Mississippi. I didn't have a car. Okay. So I had to get close How was that? home. Did you enjoy it? It was all right. I like a train ride. Yeah. Woo -woo. I wish we had like trains. If the interstate of America all had a train right beside them, I'd be training all over the place. Well, I think so because Germany. The Germans uh, got good trains.
You know, you talking about, you know, run on time. You, you, you don't want to be two minutes late. You don't want to be 30 seconds late because, hey, when it's time to pull out, their babies are gone. That's true. Oh, no. Hmm. They on time. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> what he said is very factual. Very factual. They'll leave you. Yeah. I wonder how they do that. I think it's got like a stop. They break system. all the rules. Or they keep <laughs> all the rules. Maybe they keep all the rules. The rule they, keepers, that's what yeah, that makes yeah, them. That's making them rule keepers, boys. Unbelievable. Because they always are on time. They were always on perfect time for like Jason Bourne. That's what they He is. was always able to get on the next train or use it as a shield. Yeah, right. you got it. Uh, Notice I, they didn't do any of that in America. I, you can depend on it. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. Well, good. We glanced over that your wife attended Riverdance. Oh, I clicked the wrong. Did she give you any details about the well, performance? Well, yeah, her or? and Leah said they really enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, said it was actually a really fantastic show. If it had something to do with the river, why ain't they swimming? Uh, you know, I never thought uh, about that. Well, hey, look, you asked a question. Right, well, oh, or yeah. rowing. Uh, or catching They're just dancing. Or catching fish. Riverdance. River dance. Now that'd be good. Walking what is on, a river walking dance? on water. Well, only one person's done that. What is a river oh, no. dance? What? Well, uh, huh? Two people have done that. Boy, did I almost. A, oh, yeah. A, that's a great uh, question. Boy, did I almost just get <laughs> comment section blasted. Boy, I'm glad I saved that. Oh, you still going to from the ones that just heard that and hit pause real quick so they can oh, yeah, find yeah. a comment. Oh, oh, yeah. nothing. nope, nope, nope. There was two. There was two. What do you think he was thinking? Well, we kind of know that he got freaked out. Would you have done it? Uh, you look maybe. out, you think there's a ghost. You, then you're like, oh, no, that's Jesus. And he's like, come well, on. Hey, I come may, on. I may have not been trying to walk on water, but I may have tried to run on it. Yep. Because I know how to swim. I don't think it would spook me. Well, it was in the middle of like a torrential downpour, wasn't it? Yeah, I'd have probably, well, like, hey. I'd have probably got flat. Yeah. <laughs> But Godwin floats, though, so... Oh, he does yeah. float. At any moment, he's fine to fall in. Yeah. If the water's got just a touch of salt in it, Godwin coming to the top. Did you take that class as a baby or something? Huh? I don't know. You know I don't one, think they had ISR remember. whenever Godwin was... I don't in remember. Why do some people do that? Why do some people... Because, hey, hey, if you I just, think, re if I just sure. relax... I don't know. I guess I'm full of hot air, right. I guess. I don't no, know. I just, well, if I just relax, I start going toward the bottom. Really? That I, ain't my fault. My feet my feet will start turning down. Oh, yeah, I sink. And I'm then, a sinker. Yeah, I'm a sinker. I do, too. I'm not a floater. I have to try I've to tried. stay afloat. No, I've tried it. You know, trying to float, and I start out with my feet up here, and just, hey, as soon as I relax, the feet go down, and then I go underwater. Yeah. And then I come back up and tell her, nope, I ain't yeah. a floater. Yeah, I'm not a floater. Some people just, they relax and hey, they just stay on top. I can do it. Goblin's like a buoy. Yeah. Like you get in a bind and you you having to swim, just go grab on to Goblin. You can stay there for a minute. That's wild. Oh, yeah, you'll be safe. Wildest thing that's I crazy. ever seen. I know one thing when they said salt water, mm -hmm. that's why they had to, when, if they're going to go very deep, you got to have some weight. Oh, yeah. When, salt water is just something about it keeps you up. Goblin had like 12 pounds of lead on him whenever we went down there to the Bahamas, and he went snorkeling because he couldn't mm. go down. No, no. Goblin no. was stuck to the top. Yeah. It's the only time yeah, no, I've no. ever seen a, a big man be at a disadvantage yeah. on getting to the bottom of something. They put them weights on me. I said, I'm thinking to get in water here. Yeah. They said, oh, you'll be fine. I said, yeah. Uh-huh. Take him off. <laughs> We're going down trying to get them lobsters. Yeah. Did you get them? Went down 30 feet, yeah, as far as I was going. That's it. You went to 30 feet with a snorkel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good grief. I protected the boat in the They pool. went 100 feet. Swamp. They went so far down, you could watch them. And but when they can't. They, they'd shoot a fish, it would be green. How long were they down there? They was down there a while. So yeah. they were scuba diving, not they snorkeling. There, no, they, no, 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 free diving. No tank. Free diving. This is, that's why I said snorkeling. They, they was going down 100 feet. They stayed down three and a half minutes. They got the timer set I on their watch. I would die. Yeah, they were shooting because, big, old, they were shooting big yeah. old grouper and stuff. Yeah. And I it's asked a, them to take my hook down there and put it in front of one of them. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. To wish, the ultimate live scout. Yeah, yeah, to which they replied, look, they're always biting metal, and they just shot another one. It was wild. Yeah. Yeah, they got, uh, like, a, what's that called? It changes colors. That, like, glitter or something on their inside of their glove. Here, they go up to them fish, and they go. Yeah, they go fishing. Like, they use their bodies. They oh, make, they make them come to them? They make them come to them. Yeah, they sit down there and, and make them shoot. come to them, and then whop. Oh, they sit on the. This is the wildest crap I've ever. Oh, buddy, life. you, I, buddy, you ought to see them when they go out there to them rigs and shoot like wahoo and stuff. Yeah. they put like big flashers on themselves around them. Why would you do so that? So that they look like a cricket, and then the wahoo come up there to try to eat the cricket, and all he gets is shot right in the gills. But what if what if they attract the wrong fish? Like a mako no, shark they that do. they got footage of. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they hit him in the nose with their their stuff. Yeah, they like, said don't run here. from them. Yeah, they said don't run because he'll catch you. Oh, oh, so well, stand you there, about? fight, stand Shouldn't there. Any fish catch a human? Well, you would think. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, the that ones that, that ain't no thing. They, this ain't gonna be a race. They're the ones that chewed me out for not getting to them fast enough when they were saying they need help. And oh, I yeah. thought I was gonna crash their boat just because I ain't never been in water that clear. I know. It. So I, like, I'm thinking it's like six foot deep, and I don't want to tear off the man's, you know, twin three hundreds back there yeah. on each corner of the boat. Yeah. He said. That's my boat. If I'm telling you to come, it's safe. But it was they, 80 they were, feet. Yeah, they were they were they were uh kicking sharks off of them and everything else. Yeah. They done got a feeding frenzy going on down there. They shot one too many fish. Got them all fired up. They was nipping at their flippers. Yeah. Stay out of the ocean. Which again is why I protected the boat and the cooler. Yeah. And the snacks. Oh no, no. That's the first thing I learned on when I went out in the ocean. Hey. And you I don't want to be in the water. I also learned that you don't. Hey, that's like ringing a dinner bell. You also don't grab a grouper in the gills without a glove. Oh, oh no, 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 yeah. no, no. Hey, that's he got teeth up in there. No, yeah, no, no. And then does. you will be stuck to see yeah. a grouper like this. I don't know. Because they what, go in and went, it's like that Chinese yeah. trap. I don't know what that was we caught, but he looked like a vampire. When he opened his mouth, it oh. just. Two big fangs sticking down. Oh, they got them on like the inside of their gill plates. Yeah. I thought I was safe. Like, oh, yeah. I know not to Ooh. lip him. Ooh. I went up under here. No. And then next thing, I'm like Velcro to this right. group. Yeah. yeah. How do I get out of here? Yeah. So I just had to go through there with a knife, and I just started popping teeth out of my hand. Oh. That's wild, man. Whoa. The things you don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to grab nothing. Out of the ocean? Out of the ocean. No. No, yeah. you just want to feel like there you. I saw, yeah. everything I saw that they brought on board has got big, sharp teeth. Mm -hmm. I know. First three fish I, I wonder caught, why that is. I didn't catch I didn't I catch guess because the they taste so good, everything trying to eat you. Hey, the you first three well times I went, I never landed a whole fish. <laughs> sharp Everybody else was catching them, and I'd bring it in. I said, oh, broke the line. Then I read it in and said, nope. He said, oh, you had about a 10-pound snapper there. He said, but you got to rid him in faster. He said, shark got him. I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I stick to the well, Everybody else fish. has got a big, pretty good picture with a, with some kind of fish. Yeah. I'm sitting there holding a the head. Yeah, you got to you got to <laughs> pour the coal to them now. <laughs> yeah. Good grief. You got you to gotta get them off the bottom. Oh, yeah. If not, they as good as Oh, gold. yeah. But that was fun, though. It was fun. I enjoyed. I enjoyed watching them people shoot them fish. They just kept trying to get me to do it. Oh, so nice. they actually paint, put some glitter on their hands, and do this and attract fish. Flash. Yeah. They'll do that, and they'll have flashers like little, look like, like a spoon that you, or something. yeah, look like a spoon yeah. that you fish with, yeah. and they'll have yeah. it like tied to them, trying to attract the fish. They go swimming, then they turn around, look behind them, make sure the fish is there, get him tailing, and turn around shooting. <laughs> I'm not saying they're necessarily mentally there. Nope. <laughs> You know, that's this like people jumping out of a perfectly good I, airplane. Ain't do it. I don't get it. Yeah. It's like Hard when people pass. going down there sticking their hand in a catfish hole. I yeah. don't understand. Yeah, nope. that's I safer. ain't doing that neither. I just, I, it is really fun on a rod and reel. I don't understand. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Like you said. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not going to, you know, I can't, even, I can't even think of, okay, I'm underwater and then I'm going to go to the bank in a big hole, black hole, and I'm going to go. And then hope something bites Yeah, me. and so hope something grabs me. Yeah. Now. <laughs> that snapper now, that ain't my idea of a good That'll time. That'll be the last boy. time you do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> buddy of mine told me, he said, yeah, I got to try it. Uh, when he come back, I said, well, did you like it? He said, yeah, it was a lot of fun. He said, until 
I stuck my arm in there, and we got a leather glove on. And he said, and something jumped, bit down on me. And he said, I tried to pull him out, and he come out of the hole, and we're heading for deep water. And he said, I'm doing, I, I'm just along for the ride. E like Flipper. Yeah, no, no. And he said, the only thing that saved me, he said, if I hadn't had that glove on, because he said, my, oh, I kept yanking it till it finally come out. He said, or he would have took me to the bottom and drowned me. Hmm. And I said, yeah. I said, that's exactly why you'll never see me doing it. No. Amen. Well, look, it's been fun, but we got to get in them emails. So let's hey, take a let's break. See we'll be doing. back right in after this. In part. Godwin, he body slammed her. Did he do it? He did yeah. it. Oh, he finally so. body slammed no, playful. He, he didn't body slam her. He attempted to he body slam And then she it body was, slammed him. Yeah. He went half cock. Uh -huh. Exactly what happened. Yeah. She wanted to play, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey. Anyway, was, hey, get along, here's, don't you? here's the good news. What's the good point? He got a date out of it. Oh, That's they, what they, I, I, there you go. Hey. <laughs> so you were right. were right. Body slammer. But, uh, now, I ain't talking about trying to hurt him. <laughs> I'm just talking about she wanted to play. You there got you to go. play. What, what, a king snake? Uh-uh. No, hold on. Look, Look at the color on si, that. I want to know. I want to know what you think about what I did this morning. He saw oh, it on guard, garden snake. Garter yeah, snake. garter snake. Yeah, garter snake. Where are you going with he this? He must. Hold I on. just want you to know oh, you yeah. put this on Instagram Ooh. and I already moved out. Ooh. I I exited out. Oh no, it's fine. Watch. Don't touch that thing on your children. Watch. What's just about to wait happen? Wait for it. What's about? Oh no! Oh, look at Jackson. Jackson loves him. Look at him. You people are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you. I ought to whoop both of you and Brittany for doing that. Oh. Ah. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> hey. Jackson said, I'll catch him. That gives me the heebie -jeebies. Run him this way, Daddy. Yeah. So, look, every morning. You, every, catch, you go catch him? No. I, but I said every morning, I look at him. Look at him. He grabbed. He, he grabbed, wants to play with him. Oh, he did. He grabbed that rascal yeah. by the midsection. Yeah. And Where, look. Wait, where's Waylon? He's in the house. I like him the most. Yeah, he's staying. He was in his chair. <laughs> I, I just not. told. I took Jackson. So every morning, I take one of the boys. I, I alternate mornings to water our cucumbers. I just take them. Just why not? And this morning, when I got there to the cucumbers, I looked, and I guess he'd been laid there eating earthworms or something all night. Mm. I mean, because he was big, fat, and happy, oh, yeah, and yeah, just like yeah. basically looked like he was asleep. Yeah, don't bother me. Yeah, yeah, like I'm cool, man. And so when I saw him, I called Brittany. I said. Hey, I need you to come out here real quick. There's a snake. I want to introduce Jackson to him. <laughs> and she said, "Do what?" Yeah, I said, "It's what? fine. It's a garter snake. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing wrong. It's fine." I said, "But he's too big for me to grab on my own with Jackson because his he big enough. He bit me like he big enough. His mouth bit my finger. Oh, I'd have died." <laughs> So uh, I knew he would bite Jackson, I, and I, I could just see. Said, hey, you're gone, old man. Ah. But I could just see it being a terrifying moment instead of an educational moment, like it was right here. And so she come out there, and then look. Now this is just what I video. But after that, I put him back up there, and Jackson grabbed him right in the midsection. I was like, "Okay, buddy, we gotta let go. We gotta let go. You nice snake." I just want you to look closely at your dog. He's judging you. Oh, no, Jude wants to play with it. Yeah. Jude thinks it's got a squeaker in it. Look, look at them eyes. Oh, is, those are judgment eyes. Hey, yeah, she eyes. said, you let that thing down here, and I'm about to have some fun. Oh, yeah. So I put him back up under the cucumber pots. with That way she couldn't get to him either. But, yeah. Oh, you got any cucumbers? Oh, yeah. Smash it. Every day. They good. They good. I love them. And I need to get some and tomatoes. Black salt and black pepper. Well, about this week, probably end of this week, I'll be able to bring you some. Right now, I'm eating them as fast as they grow. But oh, they're no. going to they oh. catch me oh, no. this week. I got a bunch <laughs> of them this week. I ain't got but six plants. But, man, they are putting out showstoppers. They good. They're, they're... But, anyway, I just figured Cy would appreciate that. No, uh, moment. Uh, yeah, if he had bit me, I'd have died right there with a heart attack. Oh, it didn't hurt. What killed him? Little old garter snake. <laughs> well, he ain't poisoned. Yeah, yeah but he, he saw him bite him, and hey, that's it. His heart gave out. I figured that was a parenting win on my part. No. You know, it's hard to say. Well, you introduce <laughs> them young. Now, look, I don't want them to play with snakes, but I also don't want them to take off running at the sight of them. I want them to appreciate what the what they're here What's for. What's funny is my wife has taught all of our kids to take off running at the sight of any snake. Any kind of 
and tell, tell me so I can go beat so, it with a shovel. Well, so Carter grow up, get married, and have family of his own. There's a snake at the porch. What? 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 We gonna all take off running, or somebody gonna get rid of him? Same thing I would do. What? Get the high ground and get a shovel. But no, you, she's he's been learned to take off running. You yeah, that's a shovel if you run. You run first, get the shovel, and then get the high ground. Oh my gosh! You're running to get the shovel. Yeah. Uh, well, so far we're two for two. Jackson likes snakes and turtles, so I'm I'm big fan. Look, we got a tree full of catapa worms at at my mom's house. We're gonna go play with them too. Ooh. Because you know what that right. type of worms come turn into. Oh, what are you talking catfish. about? Catfish. Catfish. Big fish. Yeah. Big fish. So I'm, I'm just interested in the catfish, 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 bunch of catfish the realm. The other day. They're a little Whatever. too rough for earthworms. They kind of ripped them in half. So they they have played with worms. So the problem is that they, they just that they, they eight months. So the first thing they do is go to their mouth. I'm like, hey, yeah. stop. <laughs> yeah, it took it took feeling them when we was young, quite a while, to get me to help them pick up a uh, big. Clay, clay earthworms. Mm-hmm. You know, because hey, they look like a darn snake. Them big, big old, as your finger. And big old night was, crawlers. Yeah. Oh, hey, a foot long. Yeah. When it rains, they'd come on top. We'd pick mm-hmm. them up and fish with them for a month. Yeah. Daddy had a, two sticks and he and he whittled cut oh, yeah. these in. Chum them, chum them up. Yep, chum them up. Them things come up. Vibration. I thought so, I thought that was a lie until the guy showed me. Yeah. Now look, I done hijacked oh, you the email sex and Johnny D. I'm sorry. Look, what you what what is in our email? You're a weirdo. What? Hey. Well, I like the body slam deal. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, he body slammed her. It I happened. Oh, she wanted to play. Oh, yeah, I like the title of this one. Uh, there's been two of them, so I got to bring it up. I, that's it. All right. And I watched the first one. The first one's a TikTok, and we can't play that TikTok, or anything. You don't stop. But Catherine emailed in Uncle Size right again, and she sent me a TikTok. And you know Rob Lowe, the actor? It's, you know Rob. I know. Everybody yeah, I know knows it. Rob Lowe. I know the name. I'm just trying to put his yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to put his face to it. Oh, no. yeah, everybody knows Rob Lowe. This there guy. Is. There he is. There right he there. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's who I thought it was. So Rob Lowe's doing some weird TikTok on what he eats in a day, and he's just doing it in his voice where he's very formal and stuff. And then he goes, and for dinner, I sometimes have a uh, – Chicken or I have a steak cooked medium rare plus and doesn't check up, doesn't slow down. It's just like a matter of fact thing that medium rare plus is a thing. So Catherine had to tell me, Uncle Size right, look, Rob Lowe agrees. And I'm like, I ain't reading that on the podcast. And then lo and behold, Daniel from Ringgold, Georgia emails in. Ringgold, Georgia. And he headed over to Gunnersville. Oh. And went to Big Mike Steakhouse, which is clearly where you belong, which sound I mean, Big Mike Steakhouse sounds like a place. On Lake Gunnersville? On Lake Gunnersville sounds That's like a, a place you can find some cholesterol. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like a place I need to go to. Yep. Yeah. Um, apparently, it's on the Lake Beautiful View. Well, he's checking out the menu, and the menu says medium's the best for the steaks, and he's more of a medium well guy that old daniel which that's kind of weird man medium rare is where it's at uh and he asked the waitress and the waitress recommends medium plus what's medium plus exactly light pink overcooked in the center it's but uh, apparently the five or six that we had weren't good enough and si started a movement that's right. and now I there's thought, some I thought medium was pink in the middle no medium medium is blood in the middle. That's true. That's medium rare. Well, hey, medium rare you say blood medium, in the middle. You're gonna get it, and it'll be leaking blood. No. Nah. When you, I, I, you will. When you cut it and you get through eating, the plate will be blood red. No. Nah. Yep. Not on God ones, because he's gonna sop that up with a toast. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, well, though, I'm just telling you. With that big old Texas. If you don't toast, toast it, okay, it's going to be blood on it. For what it's worth, I'm going to listen to Cy Robertson before I listen to Rob Lowe. But well, medium but, plus well, sounds I, like medium well. he said well. Medium, medium rare chicken. Who oh, said you that? Don't eat you read that. You don't oh, eat you read. That. You did read. I you have did chicken, say that. chicken steak or yeah, whatever, but you were steak. obviously referring to just oh, the steak. steak. My bad. I didn't yeah. mean to say chicken. Yeah. One yeah. thing that nobody's ever ordered is medium rare <laughs> chicken. Yeah. You, yeah. Don't, you don't want a bloody, bloody chicken. There's a few things in this life that you don't want al dente. Chicken yeah. is one of them. Yeah. Chicken is one of them. Uh, Pork another one. 
So, no, pork's fine. Uh, the right about... piece of pork is fantastic if you stop it at about 140 degrees. Yeah. But uh, anyway. A- um, anyway. Let's close with a Bible I, I, verse. But I did feel the need to, to give him his credit. Apparently, there's some weirdos out there ordering steaks yeah, in half size. Com- you're, you're right there with Rob Lowe. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna gonna say, on my give me some boys. charcoal. Give him some charcoal. Genesis 3.14, the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you more than all cattle and more than every beast on the field. On your belly you will go and dust you will eat all the days of your life. That's right. Snakes stink. That's right. That's what he did to him. So, like, I just showed him some love, man. That's fine. We'll see y'all next time right here in the room. We're out.